Mabuhay! Great day guys! Welcome to TSA Toy Stash in action with another toy review. And if you're new to the channel guys, please do hit that subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up while you're at it. And make sure to hit that notification bell to be updated on every video we have in the channel. Now, today we'll be taking a look at the Masters of the Universe Origin, Evil Lynn. And this is just... A beauty I can't wait to you know take a look on the figure now since we are talking about the packaging for the evil in figure having that resemblance that retro version of it, we do have you know this uh, 2000x version when you actually put it together side by side the, the 2000x version does have a little bit of resemblance with the vintage version uh, for the package you can see here the the changes out of it but you know, I, I do kind of like this uh, packaging. Then Galanang, it's it, it's very close to this uh, packaging right here for the vintage version. And also, you can see here like the differences with the figure. Yep, it still has that feel. Uh, yeah. So that's that's just it. You know, for us to actually see. So that's nice. All right, now here it is outside the packaging, Evil Lynn. All right, so this is just a gorgeous figure, guys. I'm totally happy uh, with it. Here it is outside the packaging. Uh, the entire total of what you're getting out of the box, that's basically it. But, you know, uh, let's just go ahead and take a look for the figure itself. All right, so here she is, Evil Lynn. All right, so the detail on this, guys, it's just gorgeous. Alright, so it does resemble the vintage, but you kind of see everything is a little bit changed uh, from the original version. Overall, uh, to actually get that resemblance out of the cartoon, and that's just a nice uh, thing to do. I think that's what they're going for here in the Origins figure for Evil Lynn. And uh, yeah, it's okay to see So uh, it's way better uh, for me. Uh, the only thing that uh, maybe this bothers me is it's a little bit too yellow. But uh, going here for the head, the head sculpt here, uh, I do believe this is a little bit changed uh, with the vintage version. And so uh, I like how they did it here on the eyes. Uh, I think that's just a love beauty uh, to do it. Also here for the sculpt, for the hand and arms, very, very nice touch right here. I like how they did also here for the helmet, the skull, you can see it there over here for the boots and so that's a nice nice touch uh, for the boots right here you can see and may tali tali pa siya. here at the back and see there that's the branding again and also for the entire color and sculpt of the figure you know unlike that one piece uh, swimsuit version uh, I do am a little concerned with the paint app uh, for this uh, I believe the but uh, for me, I guess, I, I don't know, maybe this is just on ours, because this one has a little bit of, you know, right here. I hope that doesn't happen anyway else right there. But for me, I think we could just try to apply a little bit of a, you know, I guess we could try to uh, strike it with alcohol or something. I forgot how they do it. Uh, on the Facebook groups, but we could do, you know, you could try to apply that and try to take that smudge paint right there. And yeah, but overall, the figures, you know, sculpt and detail, it's just spot on. Going to Evelyn's accessories, this is the only accessories that uh, she has. Uh, I do believe that's it right here. You can see the sculpt right there, that's just nice. And so it's just a very small piece right there but the detail here is just overall that's a nice thing to do I think this resembles the vintage version and also it has this comics again this is like the same comics as for the Skeletor and other figures that include with this uh, but I do like how they applied this again for the nostalgic uh, feel out of it and I'm totally happy with this now for Evelyn's articulation guys it's you know basically like same as the other origins figure you get here for the head like a bow joint so it could go down like this up like that that's gonna hinder you from the sculpt and you know right here spin 360 if you like this is actually a bow joint 
like here so it has a hinge here on the shoulders where you could raise it up like this for the entire arm and go down like that and spin very smoothly so ito dito siya medyo may iba i guess this is a little bit different yeah uh, the spin right there you have to be careful guys because since you shape the body is so different uh, you're gonna feel that if you try to spin that um, in a very in a matter na hindi siya maingat you're gonna hear a snap and uh, you know the jokes on you <laughs> but uh, over here for the elbow you can see it there it has a single inch joint there and uh, it go up like this and it does swivel right here at the elbow okay again for the hands it has a hinge up and down there and also a hinge where you can spin around 360 and yeah for the waist guys again it doesn't have any ab, ab crunch right here because it's trying to get that vintage feel for the waist it has a waist swivel very very smooth very awesome and uh, yeah going here for the legs again it's a bow joint okay so you could raise it up like this and so and and uh, going back about this much and uh, also she could do the splits about this and so i'm not gonna do anything further you know to prevent anything from breaking and also here for you know uh, for the knees and so it can bend on a single hinge joint there and also it does swivel right there yeah, so very nice but again it does have a boot cut and it has a hinge so down up and ankle pivot so that's a nice touch for her articulation right now in applying evil lens you know accessory it's just very easy uh, you can take this stuff right there okay and apply it here on her hands and so burn her metal slot and so I see it there yeah and for it so you could take it here at the other hand if you like there you go and yeah so that's how you apply her accessory all right now for the quick size comparison for evil lynn guys i have here wonder woman uh from mattel there you go oops let me just try to get her standing yeah and, uh, you know that's the basic figure and also the vintage uh, fisto uh, there you go so And I also have here the, you know, Masters of the Universe Origins uh, Skeletor and also the Masters of the Universe, um, you got here, uh, Beastman, there you go. So that's just an awesome piece right there. Seeing them all three, let me go ahead and try to correct that. All right, so there you go. Uh, basically, I just swapped these. <laughs> but anyways, here you can kind of see here that the size is for the Skeletor figure and also for Beastman uh, with the Evelyn figure. You can see here, yeah, so it's a perfectly level figure. Seeing them all three, it's just a bomb. Uh, you know, you can feel the retro coming out, you know, uh, for it. And this is just sweet, you know. <laughs> okay, so that's my take on this figure. Overall, it's just an awesome figure. For us, we're gonna give this figure a 4.5. 5 rating overall this figure is awesome the entire package is awesome thank you so much for watching guys uh, share your thoughts on the comment section and uh, hit that thumbs up to and subscribe to the channel guys and uh, remember life is one big collection peace out